I've always wanted to date the most popular girl, drive the nicest car, and go to the fanciest school. Yale is the goal, correct? More than anything in the world. But I can't afford any of that. My uncle's paying me to escort my cousin to a semi-formal. I'll take your cousin. <laughs> what? I'll take your cousin to the dance. Why? What would you get out of it? I get the payment you were talking about, and I get to take your car. You got a suit? You're getting paid to take a girl on a date. Did you know that Michelle Obama got paid to go on a date with Barack? And look how great that turned out. Is that true? I don't know. But it could be true. And that is my point. Uh, good evening. Let's do this so we can stop doing this. We don't care what you say. I happen to think that you and I can have a really good time tonight. You have clearly never been to my high school. Let's go shred some hardwood. No, yes. no, no. no. Is this your job? No. It should be. Troubled rich girls in need of a chaperone. It could be big business here. I figured out how to get the money I need to go to Yale. I'm offering my services as a chaperone for whatever it is that girls want. Hey. Oh my God, you didn't. Oh, but I did. Every date would be custom built. They could pick my personality, my interests, whether I'm a listener or a talker. What's the weirdest thus far? I had to listen to this girl talk for four hours straight. All I was allowed to say was, there is no other way to see it. Oh my God, that is the perfect date. There's no other way to see it. <laughs> there are moments in our lives that seem to define us. Choose their dare. Are you a virgin? I dare you to make out with Harden. I'm done playing this game. But isn't it really about what lies beyond those moments? What are you doing? <sighs> I think you owe me a death. Something about you. So what's his story? Be careful. Harden is complicated. Something about you. What are you dreaming about? Something about you. Before him was so simple, and now there's just after. We need to talk about your sexual health. No, no, please no. I want you to be safe. Dad, why are you giving me these? Don't forget to have fun. Yes, well, I have a lot of rubbers for that, specifically. I think you should branch out, make some new friends. Nope. You never know what could happen. That's what I'm afraid of. My letters are my most secret possessions. I write them when I have a crush so intense, I don't know what else to do. There are five total. Peter, the most popular guy in school. Kenny from camp. Lucas from homecoming. John Ambrose from Model UN. And Josh, but he's my sister's boyfriend. What are you doing? Nothing. Nobody else knows about them. Hey, can I talk to you? I, I really I appreciate it, but it's never gonna happen. I'm sorry, what? I think it's really cool that you think I have golden specks in my eyes. Oh my God. It's Josh. Oh my God. Oh, okay. Let's go. We're gonna be late for school. Ninth grade pants and 11th grade body. Perfect. I'm Elle, and that's my best friend, Lee. Oh, is that the wrong color? Oh. We've been besties since the day we were born. How have we stayed so close? We have a set of rules. Like rule number two, never tell anyone else our secrets. Or rule number nine, Lee's older brother Flynn, he's stupid hot, but totally off limits. When did you get the boobs? Oh, and rule number 10, <laughs> never ever break rule number nine. What an ass. I know. You got a little bit of drawer right there in the corner. Right here. Yeah, yeah, you, Do I really? Yeah, you, ah. <laughs> okay, the student council is expecting our idea for the fundraiser today. Kissing booth! Would Flynn be working in the kissing booth? Absolutely! Flynn will be there. I promise. Flynn's still doing the booth. So, will you work the kissing booth? Absolutely not. That's awesome. You have zero experience with guys. You've never even had a boyfriend. Whatever! Don't even think about what? Do you want to help us figure out how to steal $10 million? Excuse me, what? We're gonna go in, we're gonna be super respectful, really jazzed about coins, and we're gonna show them what kind of school Dennington Prep is. Oh my God. Follow me. Here at the US Mint, 
Sometimes our inspectors will catch a flaw in a finished coin. It can be very lucrative for coin collectors. What's going on? James Hodges, we're going to need you to come with us, Dad? sir. We're not asking. Dad just got arrested. Bye. Were you aware your dad was embezzling from the endowment? My dad's headmaster. I could do it. We have been forced to suspend all student activities due to compromise funding. An athletic scholarship is going to be discontinued. I was promised that money. Jason, I want to help. You can't, unless you have $10 million. When we were at the Mint, I noticed their internal security is ridiculously outdated. I hacked into TSA, NASA. Are you serious? I could get in. I don't think we can do this alone. I want in. This is not an opportunity to just boss us around. Okay. I'll just leave and go tell Miss Coyle about this whole conversation. Okay. Stop talking. I'm going to break into the mint, print a few coins. What else do we need? You know how to work on machines. We need you. You realize if this doesn't go perfectly, we are all going to jail. I did it. I got the situation. We'll skip this stupid dance. It is the winter formal. It's not stupid, it's important. Not stupid, it's important.